Uh, I think it's going well. Just, I think the most important thing is just, you know, playing with the, the right fundamentals and techniques and, you know, also just building the chemistry with your teammates, just learning how, you know, each guy plays, you know, in the tight end room, how the tackles play because, you know, always working with them and how the receivers play because you're always running uh, route combos with them. You know, certain receivers do different things, you know, releases, you know, Traylon's a real big physical guy. Robbie's a real smooth, you know, quick guy. So just learning how to play alongside people just like that. You have such a unique combination of physicality and athleticism. So how exciting is it for somebody like you to finally know, all right, here we go, pads are on, and knowing that the physicality of the game is going to keep ramping up from here on out? Yeah, I feel like it puts me at an advantage just because, like, in the route game, I'm able to, you know, be a lot more physical than you are and just having jerseys on. So, you know, it's just it's real nice to be able to put the pads on and, you know, just get go and get after guys. How do you feel about, I mean, we've seen your fellow rookie classmates make some plays out here. Is mm-hmm. that pride? Do you guys talk about that? What do you think? Yeah, man, you know, we're just trying to be the best rookie class we can be. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All right, but, I mean, you guys, you know, watch each other and see, hey, you know, yeah. make play there. We do, you know, every time, you know, we see someone make a play, we always go and congratulate them because, you know, we all, you know, we're really close. We all came in together. So whenever we see each other make a play, we're very excited and very happy. Is there any kind of, like, pact going in? Saying, yeah. Hey, we got to do this? You know, we like, you know, we, we young guys, man. We got to show what we can do. That's, you know, that's how it is. Obviously, coming from college, there's a big difference. But what's been the hardest part? What's been the hardest adjustment this camp so far for you? Um, I'm not sure. I feel like NFL camp, in terms of you know schedule, is a lot easier than college camp. College camp was you know crazy in terms of that stuff. But uh, just really you know just learning, relearning everything. You know, starting you know starting from not knowing anything anymore. You know, in college you know you knew everything, you knew the plays. So now it's just different because you have to like, actually like think when you hear a play in the huddle. You got to think about where you're going. You got to think about your assignment. You can't, so you can't play as fast. But that's what we're working on right now is to just you know just learn the plays. So when, as soon as you get them from Ryan, it's just immediately in your head. You know exactly what you're doing and you get your calls. So that's probably the main thing that I've been focusing on right now. Um, I mean, we've been asking for that since camp started. You know, put the ball down. But now we got the pads on. Got after a little bit. Started with some trash talk. You know, that's just how it go. From a defensive standpoint, do you feel like you guys set the tone today in terms of what you need to do? Um, I think it's always room for improvement. I think it's first day at pass. Everybody's still getting adjustment, getting adjusted. Um, but, you know, we're still stacking the days. I think we end it on a good note. Um, just keep building, stacking the days, come out here tomorrow after a full day at pass and get better. How much can you and Zach benefit from this time together where you Thank guys you. are both healthy, you got a training camp together? To, to establish your connection for the season? Um, like I said, I said before, I think it's just a, a good way to, you know, to start off. Not, not him coming in the middle of the season, you know, trying to get adjusted. You know, he's had a, he had a long time to get the plays down, and now he's just building that chemistry, not just us, you know, the defense, the line, you know, and the guys behind us. Like, you know, he's still stacking the days, you know, getting better. And for you specifically, what are you trying to do to elevate your game this season? Um, just starting off hitting the ground running, man, being consistent, you know, Stand faithful, you know, in my in myself and in my team, you know, and just just keep building that confidence, man. Just in this becoming better as a, you know as a man, as a person, you know, on and off the field, you know. I think that's gonna take me a long way. You mentioned it kind of takes a second to get used to the pads. How long do you kind of give some of the rookies or some of the new guys to kind of get acclimated before everything is okay? No excuses. Um, I mean, a day or two. I mean, we've been playing this, but this game for all you know all our lives you know so it don't take that, that much time you know to get adjusted um so you know after the day you know got the jitters out you know come back tomorrow you know and build on it and was today as, as physical as you kind of expected uh, a little bit i think i could have been more physical myself but you know i just you know just like i said it's the first day still getting it you know we'll see after tomorrow and the rest of the week is it also a lot more fun when the pass come on oh it's a lot more fun a lot, a lot more hitting a lot more plays to be made you know a lot more trash talking you know you, you will see that going on you know the rest of the week who's doing the most trash talking on the team right now uh, I mean, I can't even tell you. I mean, between Jeff and Taylor, you know, we, we all get out there, you know. Um, you know, I can't even tell you who it is right now. And Grable, too, right? Oh, yeah, he, he gets in there when he when he needs to. Oh, a lot. You know, this is, what, day four or five of camp, so everything started wearing a little bit. And just to be able to see that progress from this year compared to last year, how my body feels, just how, you know, waking up every day in the morning, you know, uh, it definitely is paying off. Cool. You, brought, you, brought, you five guys up front. Mm-hmm. What's, what's the cohesion like this year? You got to oh. Together. Yeah, it feels really good. Uh, we're all talking to each other, communicating well. Uh, we played with each other for a while now. So, you know, it feels good. I'm very excited for where we can go. You feel a guy on your right side. How has he been improving? Oh, he proves every single day. Uh, you know, we always say 1% better, and he's doing that. Uh, I'm excited for him. Really, I'm excited for us. We're going to be, we're going to be, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Do we make too much of Brew's weight being the 290, or, yeah. or, is, or is Big just big? Big is just big. You know, at the end of the day, it's can you play? It doesn't matter if you're 280, 250, can you play? And he can play. So I got all the faith in him. How much 
on days like this where you get to line up against guys like Big Jeff, I mean, how much does that make you a better player? Yeah, it makes us both better than day. Um, you know, just being able to, you know, he's one of the best defensive tackles in the league. So go, being able to go against him every single day, you know, it, that's a blessing. Ryan was on the ground for a line last year. Yeah. You guys had it out there purposely, like, all right, that's not happening this year. Do you talk about that? You know, of course. You know, it's, it's uh, you know, part of practice every single day is working on things like that. Uh, you know, obviously, we, we love Ryan. We want to keep him upright as much as possible. Uh, that's what practice is for. So we just got to keep on uh, training the right direction with it. Oh, uh, no, for sure. Uh, you know, starting practice, uh, we didn't come out to a high start. But, you know, as practice started going, uh, as, as we got comfortable. Um, you know, we started getting a, t uh, a tone and we started getting after it. Um, you know, Brave switched it up on us today. You know, uh, right after stretch, we went straight to team. So I don't think boys is ready, but you know, uh, now that we know that's coming, tomorrow is going to be a different. It's going to be a different, <laughs> different thing. And how important is that to kind of go through that through training camp, get those kinks out of the way, and get mentally prepared each day? Oh uh, man, it's very important. Uh, you know, especially like. Training camp is where you got to get all that out the way um, and all the fundamentals and all the techniques. You just got to get it all down now so when the season comes, everything is smooth for you. And what changes when the pads come on? Oh, man, it gets physical. You know, guys get the chirping. It gets really physical, like, especially when the heat is out. You know, guys get after it. You, know. you have to be careful to be specifically locked in today because you guys are excited about the pads. You had a day off yesterday. What's the challenge of getting locked in quickly? Um, Honestly, uh, we just got to come out here every day locked in, um, regardless if we have pads or not. Um, doesn't change our, uh, our mindset. Just changes the fact that we just got to get banging a little bit. For you, how much do you look forward to this opportunity to prove what you can do? Man, I look forward to every day out here because um, I got to come out here and carve a role out for myself. Um, nothing is sweet out here, nothing is handed to me, so I just got to get out there every day. What, in terms of the defensive aspect of things, we all know what you do special teams wise, but you, you found a little niche there last year. Do you have to find the same niche? Do you carve out a different niche? What is um, it? You know, I just try to come out here every day and get better, um, whether that's on the field or, you know, this year I'm trying to focus um, menta uh, mentally and um, with my leadership role, um, just getting the young guys ready to go after it, especially on special teams. You know, guys coming from college, not special teams isn't really too big of a deal in college, but in the league it matters. There's a lot, sorry, there's a lot made of the, the guys, quote unquote, in front of you at your position defensively. Oh, for sure. How, how much do you, you know, have confidence that you will find a role right there alongside them? Oh, uh, man, uh, when I got here last year, they found a role for me. Um, you know, I just got to come out here and practice each and every day and go hard, as, as hard as I can every day. So as long as I keep doing that, I know this coach is going to find a way to uh, put me on the field.